VRF control wiring between master outdoor units and slave outdoor units for single system. Use terminal block Q1 and Q2 to, to connect both outdoor units. Note, up to two wire can be inserted in the terminal block. Always use non-polar two-core wire for the control wiring. VRF control wiring between master outdoor units and indoor units for single system. Use terminal block F1 and F2 to connect master outdoor unit and indoor unit. Note, up to two wire can be inserted in the terminal block. Always use non-polar two-core wire for the control wiring. VRF control wiring between indoor units and indoor units for single system. Use terminal block F1 and F2 to connect indoor units 1 and indoor units 2. Note, up to two wire can be inserted in the terminal block. Always use non-polar two-core wire for the control wiring. F1 and F2 are non-polar. VRF wiring length. The maximum wiring length between outdoors units and units is 10 meters. The maximum wiring length between master outdoor unit and central controller is 20 meters. The maximum wiring length between master outdoor unit and the last indoor units is 500 meters. VRF wiring lengths. The maximum wiring length between middle outdoor unit and the last indoor units is 100 meters. The maximum wiring length between the last slave outdoor unit and the last indoor unit is 200 meters. Note, the max wiring length shouldn't be longer than 1000 meters. VRF control wiring for multiple system. Use the out out terminal block F1 and F2 to connect to master's outdoor units. Use the out out terminal block F1 and F2 to connect the centralized controller and master outdoor units. Note, the max wiring length shouldn't be longer than 1000 meters. This short animated diagrams show you how the variable refrigerant flow VRF system works. If this video has helped you understand how VRF control whirling and connections works, don't forget to like, to comment, to share and to subscribe to my channel for the coming videos. In the next video, I will show you all hiding secrets of how VRF piping, additional gas charging and commissioning works.